everyone, Teacher Jenny here. I have a story to share with you today that um, continues along our learning and um, hearing about chicks and eggs and things that come from eggs. So um, this story is called Charlie Chick. An Adventure with Charlie Chick. And it's a peek and find story. So we're going to see some things along the way that we will have to investigate. Charlie Chick. Meet Charlie. Charlie is a fluffy yellow chick. He was born this morning and he'd taken a little while to peck his way out of his egg. Just like the chicks did that you saw on the videos that I sent. His brothers were nowhere to be seen. He decided to try and find them. So Charlie Chick is gonna go around looking for his brothers. Charlie wandered along until he noticed a nice white egg lying in the grass. It was just about to hatch. Perhaps it was his brother. Let's check, are you ready? No, it was Sammy the snake. All right, so that was not his brother. And we certainly know now that snakes hatch from eggs, which I think we read about the other day as well. You don't look like my brother, said Charlie. And Sammy agreed. Sammy suggested that they look for more eggs by the edge of the river. Sure enough, there was one. And when they looked closer, let's see, are you ready? They're gonna look closer. Hello, said Penny the platypus. Is that Charlie's brother? <laughs> no, that's not Charlie's brother. So platypus hatch from eggs as well. Pages are sticking. Let me see if I can get it. There we go. You don't look like my brother either, said Charlie. And they all went walking together along the edge of the river to see what else they could find. So Charlie and Sammy and the platypus. Soon a shiny egg half buried in the sand caught their attention. What could it be? Here's the egg. Let's see, what could it be? <gasps> Only me, said Timmy the turtle. Is that Charlie's brother? No. Charlie looked around at everyone. This was just going to be one of those days, he said, especially when they found the next egg. Oh, wow. Look at how big this egg is. It looks like it's um, in between some grasses along the side of the river. <gasps> snap, 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 said Clarence the crocodile. So crocodiles hatch from eggs, but that is not Charlie's brother. Now Charlie had seen everything. No brother of his was called Clarence, and that was that. Whatever is next, he said. Another egg, everyone yelled. So look, they've all spotted another egg. Let's see. Who's inside this egg? <gasps> said Doug the duckling. Doug the duckling hatched from an egg. I don't remember being able to quack, so you can't be my, my brother either. So Charlie says like, cheep, cheep, beep, beep, beep. But the duck goes quack, quack, quack. Perhaps your brothers are in here, suggested Doug. So Doug suggests that he looks inside this egg. Hmm. 
what's inside that egg? But no, it was Sally and Sue, the baby swans. Let's see. All of these surprises made Charlie feel very tired. With a flutter of his fluffy yellow feathers, he settled down for a nap. Little did he know that while he was asleep, Cheep, cheep, cheep. Surprise, surprise. Look who he's found. Look who he's found. His brothers while he was sleeping. <laughs> and let's see, that one is pecking out through its shell. This brother looks like he's just hatched out of his shell. He's found his brothers. The end. So Charlie checked through many different eggs to see if he could find his brothers. Um, what kind of animals did we learn hatch from eggs? Snakes. What else did we learn hatch from eggs? Hmm. Trying to remember. What else did we see in the story? A turtle? A platypus? A duck, a swan, hmm, a crocodile. Yep. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed an adventure with Charlie Chick. Goodbye.